viewers in the name of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. This video is response to Zakir Nayak's challenge. He said, if we show at least one scripture where Jesus is explicitly claiming himself to be as God, any red letter word where Jesus spoke himself as God. So I accepted this challenge and I am giving you seven explicit statements of Jesus Christ himself claiming as God. Zakir Nayak wanted only one, but I am going to give at least seven I am statements of Jesus explicitly claiming as God. Please watch the video of Zakir Nayak uh, saying the same thing. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, which is translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe, including yourself, that we come to know from a question, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Let me remind you, sister, I'm a student of comparative religion. I've read the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If, sister, you can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, a single unambiguous statement, from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I, Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity today. Christ, peace be upon him, himself says. Himself says means that should be in red letter. There is something called as red letter Bible. Now that you have watched the Zakir Naik's video, let me give the biblical response. Exodus 3.14, we see that the God of the Bible, the Yahweh God, talking to Moses and introducing himself as I am, as the name of the God. Besides many names, I am also is the name of the God. And we tend to see this, Jesus Christ using the same I am statement in the New Testament more than seven to nine times. So I am going to show all these scriptures to you. God said to Moses, I am who I am, and he said, Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. So God is telling to Moses to go and tell to Israel that I am has sent. That means the name of the God is I am. As I said, Jesus is using the same statements in the New Testament more than seven times. The first one, I am the bread of life. You tend to say this in John 6.51. Let me read it out for you. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. So Jesus is speaking about eternal life here. Jesus is the bread of life which came down from heaven. And anyone who eats this bread means anyone who follows Jesus as the follower, Jesus as the Messiah, Jesus as the Christ, Jesus as God, then they will have eternal life forever because he is the bread of life. So you see, Jesus is using the I am statement as I have shown you from Exodus 3.14 which is the name of the God, Yahweh, and Jesus tend to use that. Second I am statement. This I am statement is, I am the light of this world. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of this world. Whoever follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. We need to understand when sin came through Adam's descendancy, as we are Adam's children, 
the sin is there in us. Adam's nature in it is in us. Because of which, we are in spiritual darkness. We are blinded to spirituality. So that is the reason Jesus is telling, He is the light. And anyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ will have this light. And they will no more be walking in the darkness, which is sin, but they will be walking in the light, which is the spirituality. So Jesus is saying, He is the light and He can give this light to those people who are in the darkness so that they may be saved, so that they may have eternal life. That is the second I am statement of Jesus Christ. Third I am statement. Here Jesus is using I am the good shepherd. This is the metaphor. So here you tend to see a good shepherd ha will lay down his life for the sheep. Jesus is telling he is the shepherd and he is going to save the people who follow the Lord Jesus Christ from hell, from condemnation. So anyone who follows Jesus as God will have eternal life because Jesus already paid the price for the penalty of sin on the cross 2000 years back. He died and rose again. That's how Jesus also laid down his life for the sheep, for the people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He has already paid the price on the cross. That is what Jesus is telling. And those who believe that Jesus came and paid the penalty of my sin unto himself, died on the cross and rose again, and those who repent and accept Jesus as the personal savior, then they will be saved. That is the reason Jesus is comparing that he is a good shepherd. The fourth one, Jesus here is saying, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. So Jesus is saying, he is the resurrection and the life, which means Jesus died and rose again. And anyone who believes in Jesus Christ, though they have the physical death, but still they will resurrect the way Jesus was resurrected. So Jesus is telling the same uh, power by which Jesus was resurrected, through the same power, we who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ also will resurrect at Jesus' second coming. You tend to see the same thing even in Revelation 1.18. I died and behold I am alive forevermore and I have the keys of death and hates. Jesus is telling, I died and I rose again forever and ever. Similarly, I have the keys of the heaven. So that means, if you want to enter into the kingdom of God, which is heaven, then Jesus has the keys mm -hmm. of the heaven. So anyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ will also have the resurrection and the life, the life after death. In Isaiah 26, 19, you dead shall live, their body shall rise. So, Isaiah the prophet is telling, even if we die physically, we are going to rise back again. And you see in the second part of the same scripture, and the earth will give birth to the dead. So, what is the meaning of the resurrection when we are dead? It means, those people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, though they die physically, they are going to rise again at Jesus coming. So the physical bodies which were there buried under the earth, they are going to rise back and join with the Spirit with Jesus Christ in the mid age that is called Jesus' second coming. So this was the fourth I am statement which Jesus used it. The next one. Jesus also uses the I am statement saying that I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So you tend to see Jesus is telling, I am the truth, I am the way, and I am the life. So no one can enter into the kingdom of God. No one can enter the Father unless they follow me. There is only one way that is through Lord Jesus Christ himself. There is no other way other than believing in Lord Jesus Christ to enter into the kingdom of God. The John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14 you tend to see in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The Greek word for the word is Logos and you see that it is consistent in this entire chapter. 
even in the 14th verse as well when you see and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we have seen his glory which means the word became flesh means god's word became flesh and dwelt among us so the problem with many people which they don't understand is this entire creation when it was created in 6 days was created by god's word the light the moon the mountains you name anything whatever is created it is created by god's word w o r d so when i am speaking my word and me are same we are no different we cannot be separated my word and me cannot be separated similarly my spirit and my physical entity cannot be separated so when i am speaking i am a combination of the physical body the word and the spirit similarly god also has god's word and god's spirit when i am speaking and my word cannot be separated and we are same similarly god's word will be god himself where is the problem why do people tend to interpret things how can god have a son in a biological sense god is beyond the biology one has to understand in sura 4171 jesus as the word of god and jesus as the spirit of god but they say this jesus is a creation of god the entire creation is created with god's word but not jesus because we see explicit scriptures of jesus claiming himself being divine all these i am statement what i am showing you also are an example that he is god you see his uh, scriptures in john 17:2 uh, where we tend to see jesus as a eternal being sixth i am statement and the vine and you are the branches whoever abides in me and i in him he he, he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing so the sixth i am statement of jesus christ is when we believe in lord jesus christ we are connected to jesus christ we are alive in christ jesus only then we tend to bear fruit on and this happens only by the power of jesus christ which is within us when we believe jesus as our savior that is what jesus is trying to tell you that he is the vine and we are the branches we are interconnected between one another the way uh, the branches and the vine are interconnected we are also interconnected with the lord jesus christ so whatever commandments jesus tend to pass we tend to bear as a fruit bearing christians because we are connected to christ jesus next jesus here is claiming again a metaphor where he is saying i am the door for the sheep so this is again an i am statement where jesus is telling truly truly i say to you i am the door of the sheep in john 10:7 what he means is if the sheep needs to enter they need to enter through a door similarly if we mankind we need to enter into the heaven then we are supposed to enter only through jesus christ there is only one entrance uh, that is nothing but jesus himself only through jesus we are going to reach heaven that is what the metaphor is used where jesus is saying he is the door for the sheep there are a couple of more i am statements which i am going to tell you it is on a 58 Jesus said to them truly truly i say to you before abraham was i am so you know that abraham is already dead but jesus is saying that before abraham was there i was there which means jesus is claiming his divinity which is related to his eternity attribute that is what you tend to see here so this also is an i am statement of jesus christ and we also see one more when the people came to arrest jesus christ you see the context in john 18:4 to 5 then jesus knowing all that would happen to him came forward and said to them whom do you seek they answered him jesus of nazareth jesus said to them i am he so when people came to arrest he, him he said he is that i am 
So you t tend to see that original couple of more statements of Jesus claiming himself as I am. So all these things, in fact not one, but I have shown nine I am statements of Jesus Christ where we saw I am is one of the name of the God as we have seen in Exodus 3.14 and Jesus is using the same I am statement for himself which is explicit statements directly from Jesus Christ where he is claiming himself as God and Zakir Nayak can see this all these statements will be in the red color besides this I will give some more inferences of Jesus being God you can see in Matthew 1 23 uh, when the angel Gabriel tends to come and speak to Mary he tends to tell this behold the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and they shall call him the name Immanuel Immanuel means God with us you tend to see Jesus being God here as well so the problem here is the entire Quran was received by the Gabriel so Gabriel was the messenger who brought the message who brought all the revelation to Muhammad from Allah it is the same Gabriel which is testifying here that Jesus is God but they believe in one aspect but they don't believe in the other aspect and the next one as well you see when Jesus healed a paralytic person in Mark chapter 2 verse 5 to 7 and when Jesus saw their faith he said to the paralytic son your sins are forgiven now some of these scribes were sitting there questioning in their heart why does this man speak like this who can forgive sins but God alone so even the scribes sitting over there was surprised to see that Jesus was forgiving the sins and we know that only God can forgive the sins and here we see Jesus is forgiving the sins so if you see all these are very clear understanding that Jesus is God so uh, I have taken this uh, video as a challenge from Zakir Nayak I would not understand whether he will accept this or not but my attempt is this Whoever are the followers of the Zakir Naik, they can think through this. They can think through this by going through the video and opening the Bible and see the scriptures, whether are these the explicit statements of Jesus Christ himself, are these red letter words of Jesus Christ claiming himself as God. If you have liked this, please share it like it and forward it to your friends. May God bless you. Thank you.